Boom. Welcome, everybody, to today's episode of Sizzle and Smoke. Hey, you got a mic on. I don't need the L, do I? No. <laughs> I got excited. I'm sorry. I'm pumped for today. I'm pumped. We got... Cut that part out. Yeah, cut that out. Get rid of it. We got week four of the NFL schedule, which is our week three. We missed the first one because beers, it happens. Today, it's the return of Tom. Tom Brady rolling back into uh, Gillette Stadium up in New England to take on Billy Belichick and the Patriots and Tampa Bay Bucks. It's going to be one hell of a game. The uh, Patriots, uh, you just watch Mac Jones. They're going to come out. They're going to throw the ball 100 times, try and compete with Tom. Tom's just going to laugh at him and put 100 points on the board, smoke the shit out of the Patriots. But that's for a different story. We're going to see how that game rolls. We're going to love it. For the cooking, a little known fact about Tom Brady. Nobody really knows this. I've got a really good inside source, somebody that was really close to him that told me this. When Tom was in college, the reason why he was like an 11th round pick, mac and cheese. It's all he ate. It's all he could afford. He, was, he wasn't very good. Nobody knew him. He had no money, so he ate mac and cheese. Picked out on it. He was a little chubby. That's why he went 11th round. Bill Belichick tried to straighten him out. Got him down to one meal a week of mac and cheese, and that was on Sundays, game day. That was his thing. Take it back to about 2008 or so. Along comes some supermodel. Throws a little monkey wrench into everything. Tells Tom, no, nah, we're going vegan. You're not eating no more mac and cheese. You're going to go outside. We're going to eat that grass in the front lawn, and that's what we're going to do. So he go look at his stats. 2008, 2009, I think it was. He was terrible. They were like 9-5 and five the one year. Brutal. So Tom, smart guy. He figures out a game plan. Boom. Lobster mac and cheese. Game days only. I'm not going to tell anybody. Nobody knows about it. And what happens? We all know the story. Freaking Tom Brady rolls off, what, how many Super Bowl wins? They were always the class of the league. They were the greatest. Takes his show down to Tampa Bay. And that's a whole different story. Kevin will tell you that one because that one's pretty funny too. So, anyways, we're going to get into some mac uh, smoked lobster mac and cheese. We've got three nice little lobster tails here. Um, being on the prairies, we don't get the super fresh lobster, but these are actually pretty good. They smell nice. So, they're good. We're going to just cut down the back of these bad boys. Get her opened up. I don't know what that was. Cut that out. Cut that pot out. Crack open the back, expose that meat so it looks good. I need to get my hands clean now. The holy training, we're gonna hit a little sizzle and smoke on top of that meat in there. Hit her pretty good. Look at all this opens right up, eh? I love that. Oh boy, yeah. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna throw these onto the smoker, let them go for about half an hour. I got her set at 350 rolling along. Then we're going to come in, we're going to make a cheese sauce, we're going to get some macaroni, we're going to put it all together, put it back on the smoker, let it smoke for a couple hours, a low temp, get some, build some flavors. It's going to be beautiful. So again, we are week four, our week three, Tom Brady versus uh, New England. It'll be the rematch, the showdown. It's going to be an interesting game. So lobster mac and cheese here, Cuban sandwich at Kevin's in a bit. It's, uh, it's perfect. So sizzleandsmoke.shop. Let's get these on her. Yes, get your shirts, get your seasonings. Get shirts, seasoning. Labels are coming. Get whatever you want. Uh, you could probably buy me and Kevin for cheap for an hour or two at a time, but hey, that's costly. <laughs> it's going to cost you. Big money. Let's yep. go. So we got old Danny Boone here rolling along. Uh, 350 with some competition pellets. Gives a beautiful flavor. It works with everything. It works with seafood, pork, beef, chicken, veggies, whatever you want. They're a nice blend of pellets. Uh, I like using them just because they're so versatile no matter what you're doing if I throw on some seasonings or some veggies You can even do cheese. It works for everything. So it's great. So again, she's rolling along We're gonna take the lobster tails and Slap them right on there. Oh, we got some sizzle and smoke on this one We're just gonna put them right in the middle there We're gonna let them go for probably 20 minutes 25 minutes. We want an internal temp of 145 Once they reach that we'll pull them off dice them up and add them to everything else all right, so now we're gonna chuck together a little cheese sauce for our lobster mac and cheese in honor of Tom Brady going back and booting the snot out of Bill Belichick and the Patriots this weekend. I guess I'm supposed to be cooking for the Patriots. So yeah, Mac yeah, Jones yeah. and the Patriots are gonna blow the snot out of Gronk and Brady. Not even gonna be funny. So first thing we're gonna start off with about eight teaspoons, which is about a stick of butter. We're gonna slap in there, get that melting down. I like garlic, so I'm gonna add a clove of garlic. Actually, there's two of them in here. I, I love it, it just adds flavor. Everybody loves some garlic. So 
we'll let that go for a second. Got to melt it down so we can add, we're going to add half a cup of flour in there as well. We're going to add a half a cup of milk and then we need some extra liquid so we're going to add a little bit of beers to ours and make a little beer sauce. Just got to check, yeah, that's good beer. We can use that, that's good. So, okay, Bomb, tell me, what do we got going on in your place then? What are we making? We are Tampa Bay, so there's only one option, Cuban sandwich. Mm. That sounds good. Easy, delicious, Tom Brady. Yeah, this is controversial. This is controversial, but I'm going to tell you right now. What's that? I, I don't want this to go viral. Tom Brady's a pretty good quarterback. Do, do you like, think it's Tom or do you think it's just the coaches that he plays for? No, it's Tommy Boy. Because like when he was in uh, in New England, it was obviously Belichick who was the mastermind, who was the best part of that. That's what they said. Maybe maybe it was all Tommy. And so uh, Tampa, Tampa Bay's got, who's his coach? Bill? Uh, that jumpster with the... Uh, Aaron's? Is that... You don't even know. <laughs> okay, it's Tom. <laughs> <laughs> See, there you go. Maybe it's Giselle, and we don't even know. Bruce Aarons. Is it Bruce Aarons? Damn it. So we're just waiting for our melt, our butter to melt here, so we can get our flour in there and make a little roux. We're gonna make a roux. We're gonna add some cheese, get it all to blend together nicely. I got the pasta pre-cooked. I just went some elbow macaroni. Took it to a uh, El Dente a little bit before because we're going to put it on in the smoker for a couple more hours. So you don't want to cook your macaroni too far or else it'll turn mushy at the end. You want to want to be able to hold it together. So it's going to be good. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to this. Oh, she's rolling along nicely. Very nice. Very nice. What do you put in there next? So now we're gonna have a little uh, half cup flour. Oh yeah. That one you, you might want to be stirring at the same time. Is that what they say? Yeah. Our I knew that. I told you. Up. Yeah, I knew hey, that. I took some French cooking. This is how the French start everything: butter, flour. That's why they call it roux, not roques, because it's French. <laughs> So what we're doing now is we're just cooking the flour taste out. Yes. You can actually smell that garlic pretty good. You can. It smells great. That's actually a perfect roux right there. And this is a traditional thickener for any kind of sauce in the, high, the high style French cooking. And so I also used unsalted butter. The reason I used unsalted butter versus salted butter, and most people don't know this, is uh, salted butter actually doesn't melt at high enough temperatures. Unsalted butter you can go a little bit warmer with, so if you had to put this on a high, high heat, unsalted butter is great for that. Salted butter isn't. Why? Obviously, it has something to do with the salt. I don't know. We're not scientists. Yeah, I, I didn't come up with it. I just know that's how it is. So. Cooking. All right, so our roux is looking fantabulous here. So I am going to add the half cup milk. Right into her like that. I mean, you could do a box of mac and cheese, but come on, this yeah. is like, this can impress your family a lot more. Yeah, you, you want to step it up a little bit, right? Anybody can make a box of mac and cheese, the directions are right on it. This year, the nice part about when you're doing this, when you cook your own, it's the ability to adapt a recipe to how you want it. Yep. If you want to make it spicy, you make it spicy. If you don't want spicy, don't. If you want it creamier or cheesier, you have the ability to pull that off. So now here's our roux, looking great, so we're going to just... Hit it with some beer. About that much. Oh, look at that. You just gotta keep stirring it, work it all together. Oh, that smells great. 
One thing you got to add to it always a little bit of that sizzling smoke seasoning. And thanks to everyone who's bought uh, some this week. It is sizzle and smoke dot shop available on the site, ready to roll. We got to promote it because no one else is going to help us. That's right. And if you don't or aren't aware of what its ability is, I used to put salt and pepper on everything. Our salt and pepper shakers just sit over here. They're buried. We don't use them anymore. Only because our sizzle and smoke seasoning is so versatile, you can use it for anything. So now I just put in a bunch of cheese. This is a little uh, mozzarella, Monterey Jack, and cheddar blend. We're going to work this all the way through so it gets nice and creamy and thick. And if it becomes too thick on us, then you can add a little bit more liquid, whatever you want. If you want to put more beer and milk, however you want your desired again we're playing with your flavors right that's what we want to do look at this oh boy and it doesn't have to all melt because you're it's going to be melting down in the Not exactly you just want to get it incorporated i could just eat that with a spoon right now yeah man nah, maybe not it's better not you're on the television <laughs> That's pretty cool. Using up all my beer here. What am I going to drink? Oh yeah, there's more. So there you go. There's a, a very typical cheese sauce that we're going to put this all over top of our pasta. Work in our, uh, our lobster as well. And then we're going to put it into a casserole dish. Slap it on the smoker with some breadcrumbs over the top. Let it go in there. The smoker for a couple hours at 225. I guess more levels of layers of flavor. We'll be back building it all together. Thanks. So we got everything inside ready to be put together. We got our lobster tails there all done. All you got to do is just crack the, crack the backs and pull the meat out. It comes out like nothing. It's all cooked nicely. Season with sizzle and smoke. We got our cheese sauce here. We got some macaroni or pasta that we pre-cooked. We're going to just put these together. Somebody, somebody's waiting for some. Yeah, yeah. I got the hound dog down here. The floor cleaner. I'll have to give her credits on this one, I think. Special guest star. So I did one step that you might not want to do is I pre-cooked the pasta uh, only because of time constraints for filming because uh, we're so all-stars. So you might want to do it when it's warm. Uh, it would actually all blend together a little better. But all we're going to do is incorporate this, get it all mixed up. Look at that, beautiful. This is looking great. For as tough as this sounds, right? Like it sounds, like it yeah. sounds crazy. It's super not, easy. It's super really easy. Not. Everybody gets scared of lobster. It's so expensive. It's the Maritimes. It's this. No. It's it's simple to work with. It's uh, easy to do. Look at this cheese sauce. Everything has got a little bit cool, but oh my god, I can eat this just like this. There you go. She's all incorporated. Yeah, that's perfect. We're going to take our dishes. Hit them with a little bit of cooking spray. You're going to put in your pasta. I'm going to do one little guy here because I'll show you something different in a second. Fold that all into there. Oh boy. Typically, I would put this on the smoker. I don't know if I will today. I think I'm going to eat it. I'm hungry. So now we're going to take our lobster and we're just going to give her a rough chop. Break it all up into little pieces, bite-sized pieces. We're going to spread this on top. You notice this beautiful cutting board I'm using? Uh, my son actually made this in his uh, woodworking class at school and he, he brought it home and gave it to me. Uh, probably the most thoughtful thing I've ever had 
I'm almost going to cry right now, but I'm not going to because we're on TV. Uh, but I just got to give a shout out to my son for making this for me. It's, it's huge. I appreciate it. You don't know how much it means to me. I thank you to the world, kid. So now we're just going to put the lobster on top. Spread it all over. That was actually a good amount of lobster. It's, uh, it's just about perfect. If you had an extra tail or claw kicking around, you could always throw it on there. Everybody loves lobster. And if you can't tell on the YouTubes, those are pretty small lobster. Uh, yeah, those are tails. That's those the prairies. That's Unfortunately, we don't get the super fresh stuff here. Yeah, but. we just grow them in the swamps. We're going to give you a little bit of more sizzling smoke over top. And then you hit it with the panko breadcrumbs. This one here, you notice I didn't put any lobster on it. That's because uh, my son, Jackson, who made this, doesn't eat shellfish. He has a bit of an allergy, so I'm going to make him his own separate one so he can have it. So from this point, they're ready to go onto the smoker. You could do what you want. If you want to put some uh, hot sauce on top, if you want to throw some parm cheese, add a little extra layer jalapenos, on it. Jalapenos, pickle jalapenos. Jalapenos, anything you want to do, slap it on. We're going to put it onto the smoker now for about an hour and a half, two hours at 225 just to let it heat through again get some smoke flavors then we'll be ready to eat maybe my mouth is watering right now and i'm not even cooked so thanks guys welcome sizzle and smokers episode four tampa bay and new england the homecoming the return the triumphant return don't know but first to viewer uh emails i got this week Lots of people want to know how I can look this good at a record weight. Record high weight? Yeah, record high weight. <laughs> Just genetics, I guess. Thank my mama. On to the show. <laughs> Cuban sandwich. We need some history of Cuban sandwich. Invented in Tampa Bay. When they used to uh, have cigar factories there, early 1900s people from all over the world were living there and they wanted a lunch that could keep everybody happy so they took Cuban bread uh, Italian salami German pickles and cheese and Cuban pork put it all on one sandwich to keep everybody happy since then it's been a staple and salami is traditionally only in the Tampa Bay version and since it's our football show that's what I'm doing we don't have Cuban bread. We're in the middle of the prairies. But we do have French bread. You probably see it all the time. What to do with it. Should be all around America. Maybe in America you got nice Cuban bread. I Maybe it's the same thing. It, it could be exactly the same thing. From my research, it was the closest. And it looks pretty cool. So this is a pretty easy recipe, but I'm going to take you through it. Step number one. Let's slice this bad boy. Perfect cut. Now, there is a very particular way you're supposed to lay this all down. We're not going to follow it, I don't think. Actually, this is a good tip. First, we're going to go with our cheese because you want that on the outer edges to melt. Serrated knives. Look at that knife. See those those muscles you're talking about looking so good right there. Ripping that plastic. <laughs> the tattoos. That'll be another I'm show. Not sure exactly what that was. Well, <laughs> I can't show it all at once. <laughs> okay, look at this beauty. Swiss cheese. Put it on this side too. Now, I'm gonna go with what I really want to melt into this cheese the most, which is this beautiful pork that Corey did on the smoker. Pulled pork, baby. Traditional would be called 
Moho pork. I'm not even gonna pretend I've ever had that before because I haven't. That's what they make in uh, in Cuba, apparently. All right, I think we're just gonna spread this kind of kind of thin. You want it even for all three of these. Trust me, this can be a lot better than those lumberjack sandwiches. You seen those? That's the 7-Eleven. Yeah, a bunch of cold, mushy tomatoes on some uh, soggy bread. Salami. That's the salami. Genoa salami, German salami. Any one of those, would, like a nice dry salami like that. Spend a bit more dollars on your sliced meats, people. Just don't be eating bologna. What's wrong with bologna? It's terrible stuff. I like bologna. Yeah. I don't know. Fried bologna? Have you ever? We're gonna do a show. No. Smoke bologna. S stick with the class over here, folks. No, actually, I bet you Corey could make that taste good. We're gonna get some bung bologna. That's the good kind. Anything on your smoker? Like right now, I'm thinking about that crab cake or crab cake lobster. The lobster mac and cheese is smoking right now as we speak, and it looks amazing. Uh oh. Oh, we have a problem. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, we have a little cat and dog battle going on. <laughs> yeah, they were fighting it a second ago. I don't know if you guys caught that on the video. <laughs> Cheese ball is not backing down. Yeah, my cat's name is Cheesy. You got to get it. Get it. We already met Jade. Cheese balls is coming looking for her lunch. Jade just loves everybody. She wants to play cheese balls like piss on you, you damn dog. All right. That's awesome. I have some extra pork here that I'm going to throw on. And why am I doing two sides when I'm going to smash it together? It's just faster. That's how easy the Cuban sandwich is. I think, no, I think that's enough layers. And honestly, I would buy more cheese next time for this one. It is supposed to be a pretty hearty dish. It's a big sandwich. That's a big sandwich. Now, what makes it special, because right now you're like, well, yeah, dude, you just made a big sandwich. All right. Well, that's just part one. For part two, we got to wrap this. I'm not going to crinkle your the microphone up like crazy. We're going to wrap this baby up, take her out to the flat top. And that's where we'll make this a Cuban sandwich. Kevin, what in the hell are we doing cooking chicken wings? I thought we were doing a sandwich. That's not, that's not supposed to be in the video. This, my friends, is promo for next week. We're both super hyped. Next week, in honor of Buffalo, Kansas City, we've already done Kansas City, Corey did that awesome pork. Chicken wing extravaganza. Smoked wings, deep fried wings, grilled wings, baked wings. What else are we doing? Anything Uncooked wings. We're going to do raw wings. Raw wings. <laughs> Joke them down. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a wing mania. Should we do like a suicide hot sauce wing? We'll do a uh, and smoke suicide sauce. Oh. Love it. But even on this flat top, the crisp you can get on here is just amazing. Oh, I love it. A little kiss of Frankie. That's the promo for next week. Those will be going down today.
Cuban sandwich. What makes a Cuban sandwich a Cuban sandwich besides the ingredients? Made by a Cuban? Cuban cigar roller like Seinfeld. How much is that thing? 50 pounds? 300 pounds. Yeah, it's just bread, you say. You don't need that much weight. Sure you do. That's or you could squishy. use you could use a George Foreman grill. Set it and forget it, baby. So obviously what we're doing, what makes the Cuban, the Cuban is pressing it down. You could use a brick wrapped with tin foil. We're basically just melting together everything inside. Okay, here we are folks. It's been about, what do you say, five minutes? Pretty close. I had a 20 pound weight on there. If you have a cast iron pan, put it on there. Throw one of your kids down on there, make them hold it. Whatever you do, it's bread. Smash it, compress it. A little crispy. That's nice. That's through the uh, tin foil too. So you imagine if that wasn't on the tin foil, that would have just been burnt to crisp. Our wings are coming along. They take like 20 minutes. Wait till the wing extravaganza next week, folks. But first, we have probably the biggest game of the year. Patriots, the homecoming, TB. All of our Sunday night games have been amazing games to watch. Like the one last week went right down to the wire. That was a good game. It was a very exciting game. I might have made a few hundred bucks on that one. But we're not sellouts yet. We're doing it for the love of the game. Well, that's actually all we're doing it for. <laughs> <laughs> There's no other point to it. And that flag right there. Saskatchewan. All right. So this, this Cuban sandwich, I know it seems simple, but think about you're paying what? For two subs. It's like 11 or $12 a sub now, 22 bucks. That's a $4 sandwich with better ingredients. And uh, it's something different. The pressed bread like that. Use any kind of bread you want, but the traditional sandwich would have like a French bread. So, you know, make it for your family. It takes five minutes. Nothing to it. These are almost done. We're going to cut that baby in half. Show you how she melted up nice on the inside. And we're ready to go to the plate. All right, sizzling smokers, we're back. Time to plate it up. Now, as you can see, there is a little bit of burn on this one. I should have uh, sprayed the tin foil. Cooking 101. Spray your tin foil so it doesn't stick. I didn't. It happens. This is real cooking. But look at this sandwich. That does look like a Cuban sandwich. That's amazingly pressed. Oof. The pickles. The layers. Cook this one for your family. Seriously. Sunday night. Watching Tampa, watching Tom Brady. Dish that up for everybody. Some chips. Okay, so we want to see you guys cooking these dishes. We want to see you sending them to your friends, enjoying your football, subscribing, or not, whatever. And uh, like the videos. Yeah, it helps if you like the videos. Hit up the YouTube. Now, I'm very happy with this. I'm thrilled with this. Uh, even with the burn marks, don't care. That's what happens. But right now, Corey's uh, lobster mac and cheese has been on the smoker for like two hours. So we gotta go try some of that. And that's gonna be incredible. All right, everybody, we've come down. The lobster mac and cheese is done. She's been on the smoker for a couple hours. Uh, it smells amazing. 
Uh, everything we've done so far has smelled amazing. I'm gonna start drooling here right away. I should be wearing a bib. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna chop her up. We're gonna try it, see what it tastes like. Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers coached by an unknown coach <laughs> by us. <laughs> Possibly Bruce, Bruce Aarons uh, going up against his old team's um, Bruce Bill Belichuk. Oh, we just had a viewer email. They want to talk about that Cuban sandwich. Was that what it is? Yep. They just, it was Giselle. What did she say? Something about dipping it in mustard? Dip it in mustard. Yeah, good call. Possibly she might have seen us eat that last one. Hmm. And both say, couldn't believe how good it was with no, you know, toppings on Not toppings. No sauces, no on, sauces it. on it. Dip it in mustard, sriracha, whatever you want. Well, this the other it. half of the story goes, we talked about the lobster mac and why Tom eats it. Oh, yeah. There's also a reason why Giselle is no longer a model. Is because she's a fan of the Cuban sandwich. That's right. And she puts those down like two or three a day. So um, she's that's no longer okay. a Victoria's Secret. It's no longer a secret. It's <laughs> a good one. <laughs> so let's get into this lobster mac and see what we got. The panko's on top. And yeah, we look good here. How you like them apples, oh, Skyla? Look at, look at that. When you know what movie that was from? Yeah, no reference there. I have no idea. Goodwill Hunting. Did he get himself a deal or something? Nice, no, wicked smart. <laughs> I'm getting the extra. That's piece a Boston of accent, in case you're from Boston. There look, we go. Look at the cheese. They're like, come on, come on. Viewer email. This looks. This is how you tell. Look at the string to it. Look at the string. Look at that. Ooey gooey goodness. Remember, first one to make this gets the double header. The salsa and the seasoning. You talk, I'm eating. In the plums. No, he's he's catatonic. It's so good. I mean, and you can make this. I don't know. I don't know where to start. You get the smoke flavor. Sorry, it's it's. He sees the lobster. He's he's losing control. (laughs) I am. (laughs) Yeah. But the beer cheese just brings everything together yep. into a smoky, lobstery, cheesy feast of just goodness. There, you want to sit down, and you can eat this whole goddamn thing in one sitting. It wouldn't be hard. It says you'd have to go for a, a few mile run afterwards just to work it off. But God, it, it, it's fantastic. You heard it. I know I'm a good cook, but God, that blows me away here. It's called a humble brag. Mm, a little bit. But look at that. Like it's right in the plums. It's in the plums. Full blast. Yeah, I gotta go eat mine. Uh, let's call her. Let's call her a week. We're good. We don't know what's going on. We don't don't know if we got something midweek next week. We don't know. Oh, Pecker now she's even tired out too. Jade. Yeah. Wing extravaganzas next Sunday. That's going to be big. Buffalo KC. We're going to have like eight different types of wings rolling. Maybe 20. We'll see. Maybe three. Like this is wake up Sunday morning. Roll onto your couch. Put on sizzle smoke and watch the wing fest go on. But first, this Sunday, you better make this dish. Cuban sandwich, lobster mac and cheese. As of this moment, I'm calling a draw. They're both fantastic. All right. That's something. Later, folks. Later. Like the channel. Like the videos. Or don't. Subscribe to your whatever you think you do. Whatever. Send us an email saying that I'm the best looking one here. If you know how to read. Exactly. No. Yeah.